Happy St. Patrick's Day! As a proud Irishman, I love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and this year I'm going all out because I'll be teaming up with YouTubers across the world. We'll be cooking recipes from Ireland's wonderful food heritage, tasting treats from the land of leprechaun and of course proving to you that we don't just eat potatoes. Hi guys, today I am teaming up with the legend that is Mr. Barry Lewis from My Virgin Kitchen. You no doubt will have come across Barry on YouTube with his giant epic treats, his everyday home cooking recipes and of course his tasting videos. Let's go over now and find out from Barry what Irish inspired recipe he's going to make for us. Hey Donal, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. Thanks for having me part of your St. Patrick's Day collaboration and also your Guinness stew video. It looks amazing. Uh, speaking of Guinness, right, check these out. These are chocolate Guinness cream shots uh, with a creme fraiche topping. Absolutely amazing. So after watching this video, why not head over to mine, subscribe and uh, give these babies a go. They're right stonking. See you soon, mate. That looks so delicious. I am going to be making a really great Irish beef and stout stew. It is a simple one to make and best of all, it's slow cooked so your beef really braises down and becomes mouth-wateringly tender. So I'm going to start off with that. I'm going to batch fry my beef. So straight into a hot pot, I've got some rapeseed oil or you could use canola oil or olive oil, whatever oil you fancy. Get it in there and get the heat on nice and high. You do need to make sure that your heat is nice and high so that you brown your meat rather than sweat it. So I've got some sea salt, I've got some black pepper and I'm gonna season as I go. About half this quantity of meat in here will do the job so that we get a nice brown color on it. Season it up with some sea salt and some black pepper. And the tendency here is that you wanna go in there and start moving it around, but let it get a really great color on one side and then start mixing it around. Once you've got a really nice colour all over your meat, it's time to transfer it out to a plate. And all those wonderful juices which are left in the pan are really important because they're going to form the base flavour for this brilliant stew. A lot of people clean this out, but it's where the flavour for the stew comes from, so make sure to use it. I've got all my beef nicely transferred to a plate and now with all those wonderful base ingredients, that fantastic flavour from the cooked off meat, I'm going to add in our veggies. So I have a combination of garlic, some onions, some carrots and some celery and all this now goes straight into the pot. So it's a scooping action and then a transferring action. Now that my veggies are nice and tender, it's time to deglaze the base of that pan. And to deglaze it, I have two bottles of Guinness going in here. You want to get it straight in there. It's going to froth up. Check this out. It really froths up and becomes nice and beautiful. The brilliant thing about adding Irish stout into this mixture is you get this wonderful dark and sweet mixture which wraps itself around that beef and becomes beautifully tender. Now that we have got that wonderful liquid in the base of the pan, it's time to put our beef to bed. So make sure you get all those lovely juices in there as well. The beef goes in. I'm going to top it up with some beef stock just to cover it completely. And now the lid goes on. This is going to cook out for about an hour and a half. And what you should be left with is tender, tender meat and a reduced liquid. For an extra dimension of flavour, just add one bay leaf into the mix. My Irish beef and stout stew has had an hour and a half cooking time, nice and slowly, and check this out. Whoa! Look at all that liquid, it's reduced right down, and if you stir it through, you should have the most beautiful, tender pieces of meat. So you're going to have to give me a moment, because I just want to try it straight away. So turn off that heat, get a nice bit of meat. Look at that tender piece of beef shoulder, which has been slow cooked, and now all that's left to do is get it in the gob! Oh, mouth-wateringly tender. That wonderful Irish stout has reduced right down. The maltiness, the bitterness in there has just kind of almost evened out and be kind of come caramelized. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really rich comfort food. Perfect served up with some mashed potatoes or some greens on the side. If you want the full recipe, check it out in the box below over on my website. Give our St. Patrick's Day collaboration playlist a good watch. There's lots of brilliant Irish recipes on there. Give us a like, a subscribe, and maybe you might even leave a comment in the box below. See you soon, guys. Bye.